So the oil tank is a fundamental component of the of the lubricating system. It's where the oil is, is stored and it's from this tank that the oil is fed to the to the engine and then it returns back from the engine uh, via the, the scavenge pumps. Now the uh, requirements um, are that the oil tank must have an expansion space of not less than 10% uh, of the tank capacity. So if we have, you know, that's the high level of our fuel, then we must have some sort of um, gap in, in between. And this is to, to allow the oil expand um, when, when it gets really warm. So that, that must be uh, must be 10%. And that is not just an EASA requirement, um, it's also an FAA requirement. That expansion space that we that we spoke about, that um, uh, it must be impossible to fill that expansion space inadvertently with the airplane in the normal ground attitude. Okay, so you, you should not be able to fill that that space. There must be some safety mechanism there. The uh, oil tank um, is made up of a number of components. So we have a filler cap. So this is allows us to um, to fill the the system, you know. So we remove the cap and we can we can pour oil in. Uh, there is an oil quantity sight glass. So as the oil comes in, you can see the level of the oil in the tank. And uh, sometimes this might be graduated. Okay, so you might see values, uh, quantity of oils uh, uh, marked on this sight glass area also. There is an oil um, out line, so this line uh, supplies oil to the to the pressure pump, and there's an oil return line, so oil coming back from the the scavenge system back into the tank. There is a contents gauge, so there will be some electrical connection for maybe some capacitive type uh, gauge, and that will indicate in the cockpit what the what the fuel sorry what the oil quantity is uh, in the tank the tank also needs to be vented and it is a requirement that where the vent is located is at the uh, top part of the expansion space so that uh, the venting is effective under any normal flight condition and the second thing is that the oil tank vents must be arranged so that condensed water vapor that might freeze and obstruct the line cannot accumulate at any point. So if we had the had the vent here, we want to make sure that water vapor can't fall it, uh, on it, accumulate there, freeze, and that would prevent the the tank from venting. If we take a look inside the tank, uh, we will probably uh, see a horizontal baffle, and this stops the oil from from slashing around. There might be some vertical baffles as well. And in the horizontal baffle, there may be some uh, flapper doors. These are normally open, but if the aircraft was to go into an attitude where the oil would all move away from this uh, pickup tube, then the flapper valve or flapper door would close and oil would be prevented uh, from escaping. Okay, so that would close and oil uh, prevent it from escaping. So we would still have an amount of oil here in this region that can be picked up by the pickup tube. Uh, the pickup tube is mounted on um, a swivel so that as the uh, attitude of the, of the aircraft changes, the swivel will move so that we're always able to uh, collect some oil. There may and probably will be um, some sort of a, a screen on the, on the pickup tube just to prevent any dirt from getting into the, uh, into the oil line. Okay, and the final thing then is when the oil comes back from the scavenge system, you know, the oil uh, will, will be warm and there will be a lot of air in, in the oil. So we would need to take the, the air out and that's done with a deaerator. So what happens when the oil comes in, it's, it's, this deaerator causes it to swirl. Uh, and as it swirls, the oil and the air separate. 
the oil being heavier gets tends to be thrown out and the air then uh, is in the center and that then just uh, escapes out so here we see that this this air then uh, comes into the tank and it helps pressurize the tank and what that does is it provides a positive pressure onto the oil and that helps place the oil towards the uh, pressure pump now the pressure in here is uh, is low you know it could be about four psi but nonetheless uh, it is it may be pressurized now the problem is that when we shut down the aircraft and if you wanted to top up the oil you know we have a pressurized tank so if the oil filler cap is open the pressurized fuel and which would be warm uh, could you know shoot out through the, the filler cap and scald uh, someone's face so it is important to wait for at least five minutes after shutdown to allow the tank air pressure time to equalize before opening the filler cap okay so that is oil tanks